Well, hello everybody. Today I am bringing you along on a vintage antique trip and haul. I packed up my two little girls and went to an indoor flea market about 45 miles away from our little town and the lady opened up just for me because there were a few things I wanted to look at so I thought of course why not bring you guys along with me and so this is a special shopping trip it's a lot of fun there's a lot of unique and fun things to see like all these books they were all free I had to limit myself on what I was going to bring back because you can only have so many books to look through in the winter months here but anyways I hope you enjoy seeing what I got to look through and also my haul at the end
gonna share my haul. Everything total that I bought was $35. A lot of the items were half off, as you saw if you watched that part. And she also just gave me a deal on a bunch of stuff because they're trying to clear out. So, to begin with, I found a couple baskets. I think she gave me this for 50 cents. It's just such a cute shape for a basket and I thought that would work, work in her little fixer upper. You could put fruit in it. I store bananas in a basket on top of our fridge. So I could put those in there. Couldn't pass that up even for a dollar. And then, if you saw me pick up this Courier Knives winter scene, I'm so excited about having this. I've been looking for something wintry to add some coziness to my home because I have a lot of springy time things, but I wanted this winter scene. And I think this was 50 cents. I'm not quite sure. If you saw me look at two of these um, craft cheese boxes. This one had a crack in the bottom. It had five originally, so I asked for two. So she gave it to me for two. I thought this would work well for in our cupboard to store our stevia water flavor drops because then they can all be lined up and you can see them beautifully. Or in our little fixture upper if we put little granola bars in there or something like that for our guests. That would be really cute. <laughs> I've wanted one of these for a long time, a hand beater. This, I think she gave it to me for $1.50 because it had three on it. Um, just a really nice thing to have on hand and it's cute because it's vintage, right? This was really pretty. Um, it says mother and daughter, I think is what it says. Mother and child by Jan. Hey, Gaira, um, 1987, but I'm going to use it more for the tin on the inside to store things again. So that's a tip if you are out thrifting right now, find things like this if you're looking for storage containers. You don't need to buy all the streamlined storage bins, but I thought that was such a pretty box and tin to have. Okay, this whole bowl was... I think a dollar so pretty oh it said two dollars but so yes a dollar just so pretty with the detailing on there it says eight perfect vintage napkins for two dollars isn't that detailing just gorgeous on there and then it has some gray that I thought that was really pretty and I got those for a dollar okay each of these was 50 cents always ideal for again if you're wanting to store things like let's say clothes pins or dishwasher pods or snack bars something like that these are always really nice to have and for only 50 cents and they both actually seal so one of them i'm wondering if this wasn't a candle container but i'm not sure so those were ideal again to have and then another basket i got this long basket with the liner of course i'll take the liner out because it's super stained but i think this was 50 cents because they had a dollar on it but very nice long wide basket to have just great for storage purposes then this a touch of farmhouse charm was 50 cents just kind of my style if you could tell because i'm a very neutral decor person over here at our little fixture upper it's gonna have some more color but just some fun um character things to have in there i thought in a good coffee table book speaking of coffee table books the rest of these books were all free so this better homes and gardens new garden book uh, just something handy to have on hand with me being an avid gardener the big book of kids rooms uh just fun again to peruse to look through lots of different ideas and images in there the perfect kitchen again just a coffee table book for these winter months i mean you can't go wrong with sitting um with a hot drink in the evening and cuddled up with a blanket looking through some of these older books and then the last one that was free american country and style source book so just fun to always yes you're hearing my little girl down here too fun to have all these little um, coffee table books around for people to peruse or you yourself like I said during these winter months and then actually I got this too just to carry everything in because it was free as well 
but my favorite piece and the reason I went, it was posted on Facebook Marketplace, is this vintage trunk. It is from the early 1900s. I got a steal on it for $25. So she had posted it and she even saved it for me so that no one else would buy it. It is nice and large. It'll store blankets in it at the end of our bed and our little fixer upper. I might even use it in here as a coffee table because it matches my decor. Um, I just could not pass it up for $25. So I was so excited to find that old trunk for such a reasonable price. I'd been searching for a couple years to find a trunk, but if you go to an antique store, they're over $100 a piece. But that is everything I found. Lots of fun vintage decor, and I love going down to this place. I only have been there one other time last year. Um, so it's just a fun place and the lady is super sweet and wonderful and opened it up just specifically for me to go shopping there. And of course I had my two little girls with me. So hope you enjoyed coming along and seeing my haul. Let me know what your favorite piece was that I found today. Alright, have a blessed and wonderful day. Bye.